We'll now look at connectivity of graphs. So a path is a sequence of edges that begins at a vertex of the graph and travels from vertex to vertex along the edges of the graph. We say the path is a circuit if it begins and ends at the same vertex. And a path or a circuit is simple if it does not contain the same edge more than once. And if we're dealing with a directed graph, a path must follow the direction of the edges. So for example, here's a graph. And there is a path between 1 and 5 of length 4. So we can go from 1 to 4, from 4 to 3, 3 to 6, and 6 to 5. And we say this is length 4 because it has four edges here. It was definitely not the most efficient way to get between 1 and 5, but it is a path. And in fact, since we travel down each edge only once, it is a simple path. Four, five, three, one is not a path because for instance, I would go from four to five and then there's no edge between five and three. So that would not be a path. We could do a circuit of length four. I could go from two to three to six to five to two. So this is a simple path since I only went down edges once. And it's a circuit since I started and ended at the same point, which was 2. And then one last example, 1 to 2 to 5 to 4 to 1 to 2 is a path, but it's not simple because I did go down this edge 1, 2 twice. So we'll say an undirected graph is connected if there is a path between every pair of distinct vertices in the graph. And in fact, if the graph is connected, there is not only a, a path between every pair of vertices, there's a simple path. So for example, here's a graph, and this is connected. Because, for instance, I can go from 1 to 2, I could go from 1 to 3, 1 to 4, I could get from 1 to 5, and 1 to 6. I don't need to check anything else because, for instance, if I wanted to get between 5 and 4, I could go from, from 5 to 1, since I know that path exists, and then I could go from 1 to 4, since I know that path exists. So if I can start at a single vertex and get to every single other edge, then or every other vertex, then the graph is connected. Here's an example of something that's not connected. For instance, I can get from 1 to 2 and 1 to 4, but for instance, there's no path between 1 and 3. And you can actually see these two separate triangles here. So not only is this not connected, We can see that it has two components because there are two pieces of this graph. We call a vertex a cut vertex if removing that vertex and all of its incident edges produces a graph with more connected components. Likewise, we have a cut edge if removing that edge produces a graph with more than connect, more connected components. So for example, here's a picture of a graph, and you'll notice if I remove this vertex 2, along with all of its edges, I now have a disconnected graph. I have this piece here, and then I have this edge over here. So 2 would be a cut vertex. In addition, so is 5, because if I were to delete 5 in all of its edges, 
I would end up with this cert part over here, an isolated vertex of 7, and then this part on the right. We also have two cut edges. For instance, if I ignore this edge here between 2 and 5, you'll see that I have two separate components. In addition, if I remove the edge between 5 and 7, I will have this entire huge graph here, and I will also have the isolated point 0.7, so that is also a cut edge.